This video is based on bioinformatics in which we will describe about how to design primers for the amplification of desired DNA fragment in polymerase chain reaction or PCR. There are many softwares for designing of primers but here we will use Primer 3 plus online tool to design primers for our desired sequence. First of all let you know about primers and its function. A primer is a short strand of nucleotide molecules, generally RNA or DNA of about 18 to 22 bases which acts as an initial point for deoxyribonucleic acid DNA synthesis. These nucleotide sequences are specific and complementary to their target DNA sequences and allow selective amplification of that specific DNA sequence. Primers bind to denatured DNA template during polymerase chain reaction PCR by hybridizing to a complementary region of target DNA and provide a free 3 feet hydroxyl end. The main goal of this video is to know you to design synthetic primers to amplify a region of DNA on a sequence of interest. When designing primers, there are some key guidelines you should follow to be confident that they will amplify your target correctly. The guidelines are 1. The length of your primers should typically be 18 to 24 bp. 2. The GC content of these primers should be 40-60%. 3. Should start and end with at least 1 to 2 pairs. 4. Melting temperature should be in between 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. 5. The melting temperature of each primer should be within 5 degrees Celsius of each other. It means that there should be 5 degrees Celsius difference between forward and reverse primer. 6. They should not have complementary regions to avoid primer-primer binding or dimmers. Depending on the amplification protocol performed, there are different criteria to meet when designing a primer. Each amplification process depends on primer design to allow for proper DNA synthesis. Designing primers manually can often be a tedious task because there are a lot of parameters one needs to follow in order to make sure there is a successful use of these primers. Fortunately, there are a number of softwares out there that will design these primer sequences for you. The only thing that you need to do is download a faster file of the sequence you wish to amplify and upload it to the site or you can directly copy past the sequence to the site. Depending on the mode of amplification you are doing, there are various sites that design a multitude of primers for whatever. You can also upload the file from your computer. In general, in general in advanced setting you can set the parameters for your primer according to your need. You can manage your desired implicant size 70 minus 2000 BP. GC content percentage should in between 40 to 60 percent. Annealing temperature of primers 57 to 63 in which optimum temperature is 60. Length of primer 18 to 24. Difference between forward and reverse primer should be 1. After making these settings you can pick your primer and it will display your primer. To check your primer you can blast the primer by using nucleotide blast after running the blast you can check the accession number and a value and also query coverage. Generally, the query coverage should be 100%. Your desert primer should hit the exact sequence of that particular species sequence.